Hey y'all, in this video, we're gonna go take a look at how to make a zebra that moves back, forth, up and down with the arrow keys. I'm gonna go through this twice. So the first time, just sit back and watch, and I'm gonna walk through exactly how we want to do this. Second time through, you can build it with me and we can actually make the zebra work. Let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna put Scratch Cat away for a little while, so goodbye Scratch Cat. And instead of starting with a zebra, I'm actually going to start with an arrow that I think is going to help us figure out exactly how we want to do this. So we're going to go down, grab our sprites, and here's arrow right here. And why don't we make it just a little bigger? I'm going to go from 100 to 200, and we have a bigger arrow. Scratch is a really powerful programming tool. One of the things that's super nice about it is they actually give us under events this little block right here, which is when key pressed. It starts out on space but we wanna use an arrow key. I'm gonna go ahead and move to an arrow key and specifically the up arrow key. Now, if I press the up arrow key, we don't do anything yet because we don't have anything applied to it. And while we're gonna make the zebra move for the arrow, I think we just wanna change the costume because the costume really is a different view of the arrow where it points to a different direction. So let's go go under looks and I'm gonna grab switch costume two. And we can see that there's four different costumes under here, A, B, C, and D. And I'm pretty sure D actually is the costume or the look that points up. So now when I press the up arrow key on my keyboard, our arrow points up. The left, the right, and the down don't do anything because we don't have any blocks set up for them. To get them to work, we need to go back to events and drag in another event for moving the direction that we wanna have them go. I'm gonna make this one go left and we'll go back under looks one more time and grab our switch costume. And I think left is B. So let's try that. There we go, we've got left and we still have up working. So let's go ahead and grab the other two key presses. This will be one for the right and this will be one for down. We can go ahead and set them up. So here's the right arrow and here's the down arrow. Perfect. And then we'll go back to our looks and grab two more looks to drag in here. And we have them in, and I think right is A, and I think down is C. Let's see if we got all those right. So here's up, here's down, here's left, and here's right. So that's the basics of how we can actually get the arrow keys connected to Scratch to make the application or the program do what we want it to do. And now that we know that, let's go ahead and move on to the zebra. I'm gonna hide the arrow and go back to choose a sprite. Let's go find our zebra who's down here in the Zs all the way here, perfect. And the other thing I wanna do is actually add a background so we can have a little something else going on. So I'm gonna go down here to choose a backdrop and I'm gonna choose the Savannah backdrop, which is right here. That just makes it look a little bit nicer. And one more thing for the zebra, they're kind of big on the screen and we're actually gonna end up with a few different zebras as we go through this. So let's make the zebra size 50. Okay, maybe that's a little small, how about 60? So we know that we're gonna want all four of those arrow keys. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in our up, our left, our right, and our down. And we'll set them up, up, left, and right, and down. Now, if I look under costumes, the zebra only has two costumes. And the zebra's costumes, unlike the arrow's costumes, are just to make it walk left and right. And to show what I mean by that, if we look at the arrow's costumes, Here's the up and the down and the left and the right that we used earlier. But the zebra, we're gonna need to work a little bit different. For zebra, we need to use the pointer. Under motion, we have point in direction. And if we grab point in direction and connect it to our up arrow and then click on the number in here, it brings us this little dial. So since we want this arrow key to go up, we'll raise the arrow up. And now if I push the up arrow key, our zebra points up. They don't go anywhere, but they're pointing the direction we want them to head. In order to get them to move, we're gonna go grab move 10 steps. And now if I press the up arrow key, we move up a little bit. So let's go ahead and move down. We're gonna use the same thing where we grab point in direction, attach it to where we have the down arrow set up, click our thing to get our little kind of clock face, and I'm gonna move it down. The number changes to 180, which is how Scratch knows to point the zebra down. And then the same thing is gonna grab our move, move to 10, and now if I press the down arrow key, the zebra turns down and goes down. Let's go ahead and do right. So for right, we're gonna go point in direction. If I click the number, 90 is actually the number that points to the right, so we've already got that set up. 
grab our move, pull it in here, and now if I press the right arrow key, it goes right. So I've got up, I've got down, I've got right. The last one we need is left. Point and direction, go ahead and drag move in, and when I press the left arrow key, I didn't quite get this right. So let's move this down to left. Now let's try the left arrow key. So moving left, but a minor thing that I don't like is the zebras upside down. Depending on what you're doing, that might be fine. But for this view, I want the zebra to be upright. So I'm going to go ahead and use the direction tool over here, get them set up the right direction. So we're back to 90 pointed to right. And the way that we're going to make sure that the zebra stays upright is underneath motion. There's this set rotation style. There's three different values in here. Left, right, don't rotate, and all around. By default, the zebra is going to go all around. But if we bring this in here and leave it as left, right, now when I press the left arrow key, the zebra is going to stay with the head on top. So there is our left, our right, our up, and our down. But did you notice what happened with the up and down? Now that we have this left and right in, the zebra is not pointing up and not pointing down when we do the up and down arrows. In order to get that back in place, we actually need to switch the rotation style back to all around. So I'm gonna bring in set rotation style, we'll go all around, and I'm just gonna leave it on up for right now just to make sure, there we go. And if I go to down, set rotation style, we also wanna have this go all around, and down, pointing down. So let's see if we've got all the directions. So if we go right, we're pointed right. If we go left, I'm pointed left. If I go up, I'm pointed up. If I go down, I'm pointed down. Now notice that I didn't have to add one here to right. I could, it wouldn't hurt anything at all if I grab this left right rotation style, but because of the way that the rest of these work, all around will make sure that whenever we push the right arrow, the zebra faces right, same thing with left and right, because the zebra's main graphic always points to the right. I'm gonna leave this in here just so it's nice and symmetrical though. And just to test it, if we go right, we go left, we go up, we go down, and maybe back right a little bit to center us up. So that's got all the motion. The last thing I wanna add in here is getting the feet moving, because right now our feet aren't moving. And if we remember from the costumes, there's two different costumes that move the feet of the zebra for us. If I go back to code and under looks, I choose next costume, and we'll just go ahead and drag it in for all four of these right now, because we're pretty sure that's what we wanna do. There's our zebra's feet moving. There may be a little fast, but I think that's fine. So that's got us set up with our keyboard controlled zebra. Okay, let's go through it the second time. This time, build along with me if you're at a computer you can use. I'm signed into Scratch, so I'm going to go ahead and we'll call this keyboard controlled zebra. If you're not signed into Scratch, you won't have that option, but that's fine. You can always click file and save to your computer when you're done. So let's put Scratch Cat away and go ahead and grab our zebra. Down here, we'll find zebra under the Z's again. A little bit too far, there we go. Now let's go ahead and put our backdrop in. I'm gonna choose Savannah again. Feel free to choose anyone that you would like. There's Savannah. And one more time, we'll bring our zebra back down to 60. So we're gonna do all four of these at the same time. So let's go ahead and bring in four events. So I'm gonna put this one up here. For while key pressed, I'm going to put this one right here, put this one right here, and this one right here. My thinking is that we have an up, we have a down, we have a left, and we have a right. So I'm going to put the blocks about in those positions. And let's go ahead and switch to up, to down, to left, and to right, so that our arrow keys are already set up for us. And we know we're going to want those rotation styles set in. So I'm going to go ahead and do those first. Under rotation, we're going to grab set rotation style. And for the left arrow, we want to have set rotation style of left, right. For the right arrow, we're also going to have set rotation style of left, right. So all we need to do is drag those blocks over. For the up and down arrows, we're going to want to have all around. So I'm going to drag set rotation style in, and we can switch it from left, right to all around. And for the down arrow, we'll do the same thing drag in set rotation style, switch it to all around. So that has our rotation styles in. If I press the arrow keys, nothing happens yet because we're not actually doing anything other than saying which way we want it to point 
when we actually tell it to point in a direction. So let's do that next. We'll grab the point in direction, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab all four of them again before I change them, just to make it a little easier for me to think about. So all four point in directions come in and go under the set rotation styles. And now we get to move them. So in point and direction, we'll click for the up arrow and move it up, which is gonna set the number to zero. For the down arrow, we'll point it down, which is gonna to go to 180. For the left arrow, we'll move it all the way around, which will take us to minus 90. And for the right arrow, if I click on it, we're already pointed right with a number of 90, so we don't need to do anything with that. Now, if we click the arrows, our zebra is gonna point the direction that we wanna go. Not moving yet, that's the next step. So let's go ahead and put in the moving. Up in motion, we're gonna grab move 10 steps. And we'll do the same thing where we drag it to all four of them, one right after another. One, two, three, and four. And now, if we hit our arrow keys, we actually get some motion in our zebra. Doing almost everything we want, except for our feet aren't moving. So the last step we wanna do here is go under looks and go to next costume. And so for next costume, we'll drag all four of those in. And with those in place, we have our feet moving. I should talk a little bit about next costume. So next costume, if we look at our costumes again, there's the A and the B costume. And so all next costume is doing is every time the computer gets a signal from one of the keys on the keyboard, it moves to the next costume. And if we do that really fast, it makes the zebra look like it's walking. Now, an important point here is that I don't have to tap each key every time I want the zebra to move. I can do that and we get a little trot happening, but I can also just hold down the key. And the way that Scratch works is when you hold down the key, it considers that as if you're pressing the key really, 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 really fast. So that's how we get the feet moving so much and the zebra keep moving. But that's everything we need to do. We have our motion controlled zebra that we can move around with the keyboard which is cool because lots of other things that we'll do in different videos will use the keyboards to move things around. So now we know how to do that, which is great. That'll do it for this one. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care and be kind, and we'll see you then.